Hey everyone, it's Marco here and back once again from my color screen bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen and now lock screen video tutorials. So today's video tutorial is hopefully one of many lock screen video tutorials and today we'll be featuring the one by Super Christian called Moustache or Moustache however you want to call it, but it's the one in the background. And what makes this lock screen so great? Well, if you have a look at it over here, it's got a little guy there with his moustache and his monocle. Looks really cool, it's got some information there. But what sets it apart from all of these and what makes Widget Locker so great is that, see if we have a chat and we want to just slide to unlock it, well, just doing that, slides his moustache down, Boom, unlocks the phone. Looks really cool. So it also goes, comes with your battery percentage as well as your time. It's really clean and minimal, perfect for a lock screen. So if you'd like to know how to build it, well, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Cool, so starting off, you wanna make sure that you've got Widget Locker installed as well as UCCW, and that's pretty much it. You're also gonna need a good file explorer just to navigate between your files to install your Widget Locker theme, but that's about it. So what I first recommend you do is go into your file explorer. This is the, this is the first thing that's going to be installing your Widget Locker theme. And then going into the folder that you've copied everything that you've needed to. Don't worry, this will all be provided in the link below. Now the one thing you're going to make note of is this zip folder over here. It's called Moustache Widget Locker Theme.zip. Now once you tap that, it's going to bring up these options, say what you want to open it with. What you want to be doing is selecting Widget Locker over here, just like that. It's going to give you some instructions. You want to say install and add. You're going to select that. It's going to say select successfully installed the theme. And it's going to bring up, well pretty much the theme, but you don't want to show the clock. You want to take it off and then say done. What this should also do is open up your widget locker. So as you can see, this is what it's going to be looking like. But if you have just installed it, you're going to have some widgets already on the screen, such as this one this is the default widget that they provide for you. So what you want to do with that, you just want to hold down and you can drag it into the bin below and it deletes it just like that. Now for the custom slider over here, we're just going to be holding it down and then dragging it pretty much there. It doesn't really matter where you put it as long as it's near the bottom. Next, you want to be configuring all the settings for this. So you want to go into your little top here. It brings up your settings menu. And this is where you're going to be pretty much changing most of your settings. We're going to be going into our look and feel here. And then in, you want to select alternative wallpaper. This enables you to basically change the wallpaper that's on the lock screen. So you want to so select wallpaper here and then either go into your file explorer or wherever you want that you want to find where you've copied that wallpaper onto your phone. It should be in that same folder and it should be called monocle either the Galaxy S2 version or the S3. Even though I'm using a Nexus 4, I'm gonna be using the S2 version as pretty much, see what I'm doing here is just re resizing it, just dragging out the corners. It's pretty much, it's it's quite a simple wallpaper, so you don't have to change much at all. It's like, as you can see, I can just move it up and down depending where I want it. So say if I want it there more or less, and I go save, it'll save the wallpaper, and now let's just check if I go back, back again, there is the wallpaper set up like that. So we're just gonna go back into the settings, gonna go back into look and feel, and now we're gonna go into layout. Now, if this is the first time you're using the layout, it should look pretty much like this. It's got your custom sliders over here at the bottom, as well as automatically determined grid size. Now, what you wanna first wanna do is drag this to the bottom like that, and then take off automatically determined grid size. This will now allow you to pretty much change the grid size at will. Now, this grid size is pretty much the same as a launcher grid size. It determines how many rows and columns you're gonna have for your lock screen. So I go for a 10 by eight, just because it's quite large and allows you just pretty much for more freedom of moving the UCCW widgets around. And remember just to go save and it'll save that setting for you. Now this is just personal preference, but you can either hide notification bar or show it in the screenshot. It is shown, but I don't know. I just personally like to have it hidden, but that doesn't actually mean that it is disabled. If you do want to disable it, you want to go into buttons and inputs and then scroll to the bottom and then disable notification bar. This will just prevent you from opening it altogether. So great. And then we have our widget locker settings set up. We're next going to be moving on to adding in our widgets. So for the widgets, it's quite easy to enable. You just want to hold down on the home screen, select widgets, and then you want to scroll all the way down to UCCW. Now, as always, it doesn't really matter what size you go for. I'm just going to go for four by two as that's pretty much pretty much what it's going to be looking like. And you want to select use zip at the top here. And you want to go into the file or the folder that you've copied this use zips into. So it should be battery and then clock. 
So for now, we're just going to go for the clock one, select the clock. So yes, if you've already imported it and then you just want to tap the hand. And there we have our, the one that's going to be placed inside the monocle. So you just want to resize it now. That it doesn't really matter. What's great about UCCW is say you have it over there. Now you're thinking, well, now it doesn't fit my, my screen. Well, all you have to do now is make sure that your hotspots mode is off. So you just select that, opens up the editor. Now what's great about the new UCCW updates is that you can select common controls. And what this enables you to do is when you select position and now you can select faster movement even is move the entire widget or skin wherever you want. So there we have it directly in the center of the monocle and it looks really good. So now we're going to be adding in the next widget. I'm just going to be selecting it a bit lower down and adding in the second UCCW skin. So I'm just going to be resizing this one again. Now see I've repositioned it over here and if you're unable to move your UCCW skin upper or lower depending on what it's going to look like, you might have to just move the wallpaper down or up slightly. So once you have it the way you want it, remember if say you want to get to this one over here and that just brings up the one on the left, you just want to go back, you want to hold down on it and then say send to back. It's really cool because now you can get back to that this one quite easily just like that. So it's going to take some rearranging but the great thing about UCCW is that it's really really easy to do. So finally you just want to rearrange this custom, well, this custom slider here. You want to hold down select resize and pretty much put it where you want. It doesn't really matter where it goes but there is our moustache set up like that. So there we have our lock screen complete. If you just want to check that it works we can just go out of it just like this. Let's just lock our screen like this and then unlock it there it is our lock screen it's got our battery percentage over here as well as this little circle that also indicates the battery as it when it's 100 percent it's fully covered there as well as our time over here and finally the best of all we've got our little moustache here that when sliding down unlocks our phone so thank you very much guys for watching we've just hit 20,000 subscribers for our youtube channel so i really really appreciate it and yeah please subscribe if you haven't already, as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter communities. This is Marco from My Color Screen, and don't stop customizing.